Welcome to your Nexus 2 Help Guide. In this video, we will talk about the new features within Nexus 2.7. You can view the list of added features by going to the Help button within Nexus and selecting View Latest Help from Vicon.com. In Nexus 2.7, there are several additional features. Nexus will help you easily visualize marked cycles within your time bar. In Quick Reports, you have the ability to pick and choose individual variables. Within Nexus 2.7, several new features have been added to the camera calibration feedback. Certain notifications from the log are more transparent. You can now integrate a ProCalc pipeline operation into your pipeline for post-processing. Lastly, there are a couple other features I will address at the end of this video. Defined cycles can now be visualized within the Nexus time bar, similar to Polygon. By default, cycles within Nexus are defined as foot strike to foot strike. For each cycle, a box in that side's context color is created. For instances where a cycle has force plate activity, that cycle box is solid. To view the frames per cycle, right click on the time bar and tick on Show Cycle Frame Count. To turn this feature off, unselect that same option. Within Window, Options, Time Bar, you can turn off the cycle visualization by unselecting Cycles Visible. Within these options, you can also customize the force plate threshold used to detect force plate activity. The normalization scheme can also be altered. Selecting the dropdown allows you to see what's available, foot strikes, foot offs, or general events. The terminology for the defined area can also be modified away from cycle if preferred. Within the time bar color options, you can customize the left, right, or other context colors. Remember, if any changes are made to these options, make sure to save your option settings. In Quick Reports, you can see that we've already loaded in five trials. Going over to the Model Output section, let's expand some of the angles and add a couple variables in. If we're only interested in the flexion extension of the knee and ankle, we can expand the knee and ankle angles and only select the X component of the model output. You have the ability to pick and choose any combination of components for the model output variables. Within the advanced options of the model outputs, you can see an option to reorder or clear. Upon selecting reorder, a new reorder graphs window populates. In here, you can select graphed model output components and move them as you please. Dragging the plus symbol on the top right will add a space in between two graphs. The trash can allows you to delete graphs individually. The icon on the left side allows you to move entire rows up or down rather than individual graphs. The clear button will remove all graphs currently opened within your quick reports. All of the new calibration feedback features can be found within the Tools Pane System Preparation button. A user can now compare current calibration values with the previous calibration values. To toggle this option on, right-click on a camera within the Camera Calibration Feedback table and select Show Differences. What's displayed now is the difference between the current and the previous calibration. Larger differences will be displayed in an orange to red color. Smaller differences will appear green to yellow. This allows the lab to understand 
how different the new calibration is from the previous calibration. Users can export calibrations as a CSV file. To do this, right-click on a camera within the ca camera calibration feedback table and select Export. A Windows folder will open, allowing you to select a folder to save the information. Upon opening a calibration CSV, you will notice that the table appears very similar to that displayed in Nexus. We are presented with a camera column, wand count, world error, image error, as well as those different values that we had just looked at. This feature allows a lab to keep track of calibration standards over time. Another addition to camera calibration is the ability to set a threshold value for your world or image error. At the bottom of the camera calibration feedback table, a user can add in a threshold value. If the current calibration value exceeds the set threshold, then the icon to the left of the camera will turn from a strobe to a yellow yield symbol. This gives user a visual guide to the quality of their calibrations. Lastly, a user can now sort the calibration columns. Select a column header, such as image error, to sort the camera calibration values from lowest to highest. If you select it again, then the values will be sorted from highest to lowest. This increases the ease to identify which cameras may have poor calibration results. For some errors within Nexus, a toast style pop-up notifies users of log errors. This error message appears on the bottom right of the screen and will fade away after four seconds. Clicking on this message will take the user to the log where more details on the error are displayed. Users can run a ProCalc model script in the Nexus pipeline. In the Tools pane, Pipeline button, Expand Data Processing. Here, double-click on Run ProCalc Operation to add it to the current pipeline. In this example, you'll see that I've already added the operation to my ProCalc example pipeline. When I click on my pipeline operation, within the properties, we can see that I have already selected appropriate uh, schemes for my script. When I run this operation, we will see a midpoint marker populate within our modeled markers. Pipeline ended. This model output can then be graphed and used for further analysis. The Vicon Blue Thunder IMU sensors can be integrated with a Nexus. For more information, please see the introduction to Blue Thunder IMU video. Within the fill gaps and filter data operations, you can now select a high pass filter for analog model outputs and trajectory data. You have the ability to save separate sound configurations, similar to the ability to save view options and trial types. Nexus now has an internet able system that reports back the most current firmware version for Vicon hardware. This can be accessed by going to the Help tab and selecting Check for Firmware Updates. The Plug and Gate calculated joint centers can now be optionally visualized within the 3D workspace. Lastly, the protection of system configuration files has been implemented. If your configuration is marked as read-only, then you cannot save over your system configuration. This help prevents any accidental changes of settings. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions about your hardware or software, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at